All right, moving on. Resident Evil 7, coming out next year, early next year, January, mm. I believe. First person. Capcom expects it to sell 4 million copies at launch. I can give you some context, but does that strike you as... <laughs> that's, way, that's a huge amount. It's half as many as Tomb Raider is supposed to sell to be a success. That feels and low. It, it didn't meet the 10 million. Right. Mark. It feels low-ish to me for Resident Evil, but it's an experimental game in a very different direction for the franchise. What do you think is the best-selling Resident Evil game? One. Five. One or four? It's five. Yeah. Ooh, right. wow. Yeah. How'd yeah. you get that right? It is the best-selling game in the series with 7.1 million copies. Okay. Mm-hmm. It is Capcom's best-selling game of all time. Wow. Ooh. The highest-selling wow. Capcom game is no, no, Resident no, no, Evil no. 5. What about Mount's Monster Hunter? No, it, it outsells Monster Hunter. Uh, wow. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, yeah, so Sam's very skeptical. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're measuring their expectations a little bit. Uh, they think Resident Evil 7 is not going to do Resident Evil 5 numbers. They mm-hmm. think 4 million at yeah. launch. Resident Evil 6 uh, enjoyed 6.6 million wow. in sales over its lifetime. Ugh. That's really big. I'm yeah. sorry to everybody that bought that game. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, that's exactly why they're lowballing 4 million. For yeah, seven. I guess so, huh? It's because that was 6.6 million people who went, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so to. Uh, that was our review score. Just what? said, what? <laughs> the whole article, just what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. I don't either. The top ten. Com slash what? <laughs> Uh, I've got the top 10 best-selling Capcom games ever here. So Resident Evil 5 is their best-selling game. Resident Evil 6, second best-selling. DuckTales. Yeah. Uh, Street Fighter 2 on Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo, what? not Genesis. That was a number three? Turbo, yeah. Turbo 6. Edition. 6.3 million copies. Oh, my game. God. Yeah. Uh, then Resident Evil 2. Are you saying these are in the U.S.? Nope, this is worldwide. This is worldwide sales. Wow. Don't you think that seems a little low for Street Fighter 2? But Six only just S. the SNES version. Oh, just because yeah. I had the chance. Million. Even that seems a little low. I don't know, man. That's a lot. Uh, and this all comes the, from the Capcom. SNES had, I think, forty million total console sales. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like a that, um, yeah, what, that's one pretty good. One eighth of them. Yeah, that's, well, that's that's a big deal. There are other versions of Street Fighter Two released on Super yeah. Nintendo Two. There's Super Street Fighter uh, uh, Resident uh, Evil Two sold five million copies. Damn. Then their fifth best selling game is Monster Hunter Freedom Three on PSP. Four point nine million. So like what? That's, wow. that's the high mark for Monster Hunter on PSP. Mon- yeah, Hun- is that yeah. amazing? Yeah, it's amazing. The next three games are all 3DS entries: Monster Hunter Four Ultimate, Monster Hunter X, Monster Hunter Four. Mm-hmm. They're all they all sold four point one million copies. I so like s- the audience is like buy, rebuying the exact same audience is rebuying that game over and yeah. over. Well, I mean, there's yeah. one of these like I like Monster Hunter feels like a game I would be into. You know, I could, like like grindy games sometimes like World of Warcraft, but I don't know where to. I need like a I need a Jose Otero or an IGN.com to be like, all right, look, 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 just like buy this game. Uh, so this I is actually, what you need to do. I did this video with Jared Petty, who's regularly on the show uh, for IGN, where we he basically gave me a crash course in training for yeah. that game. Super obtuse, I but I totally got it by the end. Uh, <laughs> Fought my first epic battle that I ended up losing at the very end. Uh, it he happens. says Bloodborne is a good analog for a Monster Hunter. It's I a, could see that. That's a total Jared answer. That's I not. I want to know what Bloodborne. What I want to know what Monster Hunter game to play. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't tell you that, but I could tell you that you might you might get into it. I it didn't stick with me, but yeah. I I see now why people love or it. Just like there's other. That's just one of those franchises. It's like five or six franchises. Like I just kind of missed, and I need someone to like cut through the noise yep. and yep. be like, look, just play. You know this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, Dragon Quest V, like whatever. Number nine is Street Fighter II Turbo on Super Nintendo with 4.1 million copies. Oh, so that wasn't even, it was Street Fighter II and then Street Fighter II Turbo. Yeah, which combined sold over mm-hmm. 10 million copies. Yeah, man. Uh, and then number 10 is Monster Hunter Freedom Unite on PSP with 3.7 million. So, if Resident Evil 7 sold 4 million copies, it would become Capcom's 10th best-selling game. Yeah. Ever. So, Damon, Resident Evil 4 is not in the top 10? No. That's incredible because it's they locked it behind GameCube first. That is right, yes. Oh. The, the weird thing, this is, this is all from Capcom's uh, site. And some games, they bundle up all the different versions, like Resident Evil 5 and 6, but then Resident Evil 4 is split up yeah. for some reason. So I think if you combined... Uh, the GameCube, PS2, and Wii versions, GameCube, and then like PS2, the new Wii, download PC. I'm sure uh, it would be much yeah. better. And they yeah. upresed it for the. They upresed it for last gen. They upresed yeah. it for this gen. Yeah, I'm sure if you combine all those different versions, it would There's be much a mobile better. Port. What about? <laughs> yeah. Seriously, what about like Mega Man 2? Exactly, like, that's been so, on lots of systems. So stuff. check this out. So no Mega Man is in the top ten. Yeah. Uh, Bionic Commando. Mm-hmm. Their best-selling Mega Man 2 is the best-selling Mega Man game. One and a half million copies. 
I believe so like, it. That's like the high mark for Mega Man. Everybody's played Mega Man 2. Yeah, but the mid-80s were like a different era. Like, that's it. it it's, was, that's know, the high mark. To break a million was... Yeah. That's the high mark for Mega Man, and it's Capcom's 42nd best-selling game. So it's that puts it in perspective when the fans are constantly like, like Capcom Mega doesn't Man. care about Mega it's Man. Like, it's like, dude, well, nobody buys Mega Man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Wow. Dino Crisis outsold Mega Man 2 by a large mark. Oh! Yeah. Oh, that's hard to hear. Is that just point a, for is that a light gun game? No, no, no. It's, it's a Resident, Resident Evil with dinosaurs. Resident Evil dinosaurs. We were just okay. talking, cool about, we were just talking about Dino Crisis today. Dino we're Crisis make, is a cool game. We're gonna yeah. make a list of franchises that need to come back. I. We, what do you mean? We already we already did that list. Did we? Yeah, I just did that list like a month ago. Oh no, but not that. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be from that specific era. Like okay. A, like uh, I yeah. I got a few. <laughs> You're right. We did that list. I got a few <laughs> drinks in during a weird night last gen, and I tried to buy Dinosaur Hunter and. Whoa, whoa. Or, or the, dinosaur, what? Dino Crisis, Dino whatever crisis. it's called. Dinosaur Hunter, I'm sorry, that. Um, and that game does not hold up. Dino Crisis, it's, really? Yeah, I mean, the Resident Evil games in a weird way kind of do, but I think that one's even more sort of janky. And, All right, save and it messy. for Dinosaur Week. Yeah, we're <laughs> Why bringing not? that back. Why not? Uh, yeah, Sam, <laughs> Ghosts and Goblins on mm-hmm. NES outsold Mega Man 2. No! 1.6 million copies from Ghosts and Goblins. It NES. was out oh before at a time where there was less out. Yeah, it's there just were crazy. fewer wow. games to buy. Yeah. It's like this is this month's video game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But but still, those numbers just seem overall. I'm just surprised they're low for NES. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> Moving on. Uh, NES Classic is out this week. Finally, is it? I mean, can you? We can't buy it. Buy it. <laughs> it has a release date at least. Yeah. When's the release date? Friday. Uh, and Friday. we still have. There's no clearly no pre-order. So there's going to be some some funny business with that. So in America, like it might be an exclusive at a retailer or something. Target did online. Mm-hmm. Uh, pre-orders for it, but outside of that, in the U.S., there hasn't been any way to buy it online. Um, people are seeing it pop up on like Walmart's website. What if we could walk into GameStop and it's just like NES control decks stacked up? That would That'd look be really cool. That'd be great. Bizarre. I'd be into that. Yeah. yeah, I'd pick one up on Friday. That'd be really neat. We should walk over there. We'll check it out. It comes back with 30 NES games, uh, but one of the games and a poster and a poster apparently. <laughs> one of the games that's not included, I don't think, is Blaster Master. Yeah. That's not on the list, right? No, no. But not to worry, because Blaster Master Zero is coming to 3DS this spring. Really? You heard about this? No. They're like remaking the original Blaster Master mm. on current gen handheld hardware. Still, oh still with pixel art and everything. Yeah, though. but it also has look like, like Shovel Knight yeah. quality. Pixel yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great. So I, was it a remake or a sequel? Or they're not? remaking the original game with okay. new areas, bosses, weapons, and so new so exploration good. mechanics. I'll be honest with you. If they had added no new areas, I would not have noticed because I've never <laughs> finished that game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it's way too it's hard. Yeah. Hard. Bl- yeah. Blaster Master is a game that you played for, you know, 40 minutes at your friend's house. And then oh, for no. 20 years, you've been like, I love Blaster Master. Yeah. But it's like, do you really yeah. love Blaster I've, Master? I've gone back to try to play that. And like, even as, a, as an adult where I'm like, I could even open up guides and stuff like that. And I'm like, where yeah. am I? How do I like? How do I yeah. get back no, to my I, ship? I owned Blaster Master, but I never beat it. But like the music is you burned into my yeah. my, dun, my dun, brain. Dun, yeah. Dun, yeah, I was the, dun, I was the, dun, the dun, friend dun, that owned it. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like Metroid music. It does. We had a, I had a friend. I had a friend that had Blaster Master. Um, and what always tripped us up is when we were playing Nintendo games at each other's houses. Is I had Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and he had Punch Out. Mm-hmm. And they're like, what? Like, is there a sequel? Like, because you're a kid, you don't know. Yeah. There's no internet. And I'm like, did they make a sequel that has Mike Tyson in it? What is it? And then we're like, oh wait, it's the exact same game. And then we Without made it to Mike the Tyson. End. <laughs> well, then we made it to Mr. Dream yeah. on uh, on his version, or on uh, my whichever one, whichever one of us didn't have the Mike Tyson version. We're like, who the hell's this guy? That's nuts. And yeah. wait, oh, this guy just looks Mike just Tyson. like looks just like Mike Tyson, but he doesn't, you know, but he's white. Yeah, yeah. there's you know what's a, crazier. Uh, you know who the main boss of Master Buster is? <laughs> Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. <laughs> There's a game that was made for NES that is a sequel to, it was made as a sequel to Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. It's called Power Punch 2, wow. and there's no Power Punch 1. It's called Power Punch 2, and you fight aliens in it, and you have, like, the wireframe Little Mac. It's really rare game. Is it good? But no. It was <laughs> it was made by, you know, it wasn't made by Nintendo directly, oh. and uh, was, like, kind of a spinoff that feels unfinished and just terrible. Weird. And uh, if you ever come across that cartridge, pick it up. Wow. It's very hard to find. There's weird, like, Not the Punch-Out. Not but hard to find. The punch out Mike Tyson punch out thing. Like video games are just different back then. Like there weren't as many people paying attention. Like there I have a cart that's just Back to the Future 2 and 3 yep. in one cart. Yeah. And I'm like, what are you doing? 
when they, like you would never do that yeah. in 2016. Well, yeah, that came out. Well, also Lego no Star sense. Wars kind of does that. That's true, but it's even like Back to the Future. I had Back to the Future two and three played it all the time as a kid. Never played Back to the Future three because you had to do some weird shenanigans to get to the Wild West in that game. Yep. 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 Really? That game was a wreck. You can't even just select the one. No. From- that game was made by Japanese developers who had clearly never seen anything more than <laughs> key art from both of those movies. Did you ever play Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Yep. Mm-hmm. Another bad game. It was like a Fester's Quest knockoff. Yep. I think. It's good.